Well, here's a unique little video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how, in a pinch, you can make a fairly good microphone for creating the sound files associated with videos, or if you were just making an MP3 file. In both cases, I'm using Audacity as the software to record this. What I'm focusing on here is the microphone. Now, what I'm showing you here is that microphone. I've recorded this audio separately from the video so I can show you this. And you'll notice here is the other piece of this plastic bottle that I am using for this mic. I actually live in Chicago, but I'm visiting in Los Angeles right now. And I've got a bunch of videos to put out for my students in various classes in the autumn. I teach at DePaul University in Chicago. I left my headset with the microphone that normally comes in front of my mouth back in Chicago. When I came out here, I forgot to pack it. Here I'm sitting here in the early morning. I could run to a store and buy a microphone, but I noticed I had this rather inexpensive set of headphones, Kobe headphones that I carry around with my iPod. And I find they're better on the airplane because they plug into your ear and kind of block out some of the sound. What I did was simply remove the rubber caps from them and cut off the top of this plastic love soda bottle and then poke two holes in it and poke the earplugs into there. Here's a video, or at least a picture, showing you a close-up of that. This earphone probably has a crystal element in there, or maybe even a magnetic one, but it doesn't really matter. The earphone could be made to work in reverse as a microphone of sorts. In this bottle, I'm just using that to try and concentrate the sound of my voice on it. I plug this into the microphone jack, and then I set the audacity so that it's in my case, with Windows 7, it says Microsoft Sound Mapper instead of the Realtek internal microphone on my laptop. And I had to crank the mic input volume up to the max in order to make this signal level usable. And then with Audacity, it's a very quick process to increase the volume by just doing the effect and then let the volume that it's going to be amplified to be set by Audacity itself. What I'll do then is to take this soundtrack, and I'm going to use one or another video editor. I could use Windows Movie Maker, or I could use Camtasia, or I could use the Video Pad Editor, which is available free. Any of those would work so that I could put this soundtrack into a video, and then I will put still images or short video clips in at the appropriate points to illustrate what I'm talking about. The whole point of this was just to show that if you're in a pinch, like I am here, the stores haven't even opened and I wanted to do this work, I found that this kind of a cockamamie microphone here that kind of kludged together with just some earpieces and a plastic bottle and some tape actually is doing a fairly good job. It's picking up much less in the way of a hum that sometimes comes in with the USB mic that I've got. And it's coming out fairly clear for the purpose of annotating the video. I wouldn't go recording any kind of musical performance with this, but I think this is coming up in a superior way to some of the mics that I have used in the past. So if you're in a bind for a microphone, just take a cheap set of headphones, a little earbuds, and stick them in a bottle like this, tape them up so they don't rattle, and try it out. And I would suggest you use Audacity so that you can manipulate the sound that you get out. By the way, I did run this through Levelator as a test, and Levelator introduced some distortion in it. So what you're hearing now has not been run through Levelator. It's just been amplified as it's been recorded by Audacity. And I have my mouth fairly close inside this end of a bottle so that I'm concentrating the sound of my voice on these two earbud earpieces. Have at it if you want a cheap mic that kind of works better than some of the other ones that are on the market.